Hey, it's so good to be with you. This video excites me beyond belief. In fact, it's thrilling. Why is that? Because it is vintage clothing. I have been working behind the scenes, collecting all different kinds of styles to be able to feature and to showcase for you. And it's so funny because this has been in the works, but there was a recent social media post where I talked about my first Kiss rock concert t-shirt and it flashed me back to when I was nine years old and I had that t-shirt and I had a little Kawasaki 75 and you guys saw me with bell bottoms on and dirty shoes and it triggered all of these really neat memories from you all about your experiences growing up in the 60s, 70s and 80s and what a wonderful time it was and it was truly. So what I find so fascinating is as I look through the fashions and I always like to see the trends that are out there and you can go to these you know big name designers like Gucci and whatnot and everything that I'm seeing is so retro. It is such a throwback to 70s fashion with the blouses, the colors, the wide lapels, 80s with the parachute pants and the bling and all of that. And so it kind of had me thinking, why on earth would you spend thousands of dollars when you can go back to yesteryear, find the old clothes for hundreds if not less and so that's what i've been doing over the past month is collecting all of this fashion and the timing is perfect god's timing is always perfect and so today i'm bringing to you a vintage fashion show that will showcase clothes from all of these different eras i think it's going to bring you back i hope to so many fun and happy memories and it's going to show you that through this process, you can actually find unique, original pieces that nobody will ever have that will have a very special meaning and story to you that will be fabulous on price point so that if you want to be trendy, you don't have to break the bank in doing so. So why did I say this video was thrilling? Well, that's the discovery. It's a website called shopthrilling.com and thrilling is essentially like a an umbrella for vintage shops all over the country. I want to start with the 1970s since that was the old photo with the flared pants and flared pants are in big time. So you can easily find shirts from the 70s to be able to pair with your new flared jeans or slacks or whatever it is that you're getting into. Outfit number one. And this is an outfit that I also featured on Instagram probably about a month or so ago. The blouse is from the 1970s. It's a glamour girl print jersey nylon blouse with this beautiful novelty print. It's got glamour girls all over it, black, gold, kind of a tomato orange, a little bit of lavender in there. This blouse was only $45. I picked up that tomato red orange color in the blouse and I wore it with a pair of Alice and Olivia slacks that I have that have a real nice flare at the bottom. I put on a Gucci belt. I'm also wearing black platform shoes to go with it. And uh, excuse me, can't forget about accessories. So I found these oversized ombre sunglasses by Mary Quant France. They are rare. They're from either the 60s or the 70s. They're collectible, kind of a maroon fades to gray. And these were $148. They came from a vintage boutique in Virginia Beach, Virginia. The blouse came from Des Moines, Iowa, and everything else came from my closet. But what a fun and wonderful assembly of the wide lapel blouse and using your own clothes to sort of bring it to life. So we're going to stick with that theme, move on to the next two blouses that I want to show you again, variations. The next blouse I fell in love with, A, because it's 70s, B, the color is absolutely amazing. So it's a blue bee honeycomb insect novelty print blouse by Franco Bertoli. It is $75. It's got the fat fabulous wide 70s pointed collar. It's a poly, everything's polyester. It's fitted, it does have a light stretch to it and a fabulous kind of royal gold teal color. So I played off of the yellow in the blouse, put on a pair of theory pants, again, kind of a mustardy yellow with a nice flare. So I'm able to wear a gold platform with it. 
And then two, I like to have fun with the hairstyles because channel back the hair of the 70s or the 60s or the 80s and really play along. So I just stuck a hairpin in there. Um, this was by a vintage seller in Seattle, Washington, but I love the color combo in this one. Again, the 70s five, I sort of, I feel like John Travolta strutting down the street, you know, with the with the big lapel and the suit and all of that. So it's just, it's so fun and, and it's my jam. And so the next one, I actually have photos of this next blouse because I had my photographer who I use, Al Torres, come to the house and do a photo shoot recently and I wore this blouse. This was also a vintage purchase. It's a 70s silk patchwork fitted blouse, 50 bucks, beige, brown, orange, and gold. It has a really nice silky feel to it. Again, the wide lapel pointed collar. I wore this with a pair of flared Veronica beard jeans. And again, how do you not put those oversized ombre sunglasses with it that really pick up the maroon and the orange colors. And you're owning an original from the 1970s. That was really a blast. You know I have to channel other looks as well within a decade. So the next item that I found is a dress. Do you remember the prairie dresses of the 1970s? You know, Little House on the Prairie with the puff sleeve and the Victorian look. Yeah, well, it's in today and it was in back then. So this is a dress from back then. It's a prairie long sleeve lace dress by Goon Sachs. Do you remember when sizes were size three, size five, size seven? It was kind of a trip because I was having to figure out what size I might have been. I guessed on a size five and let me tell you, it's tight. <laughs> so if you order vintage, size up because people I think were smaller back then. What an amazing dress. I love the detail, navy black. It's got a little bit of pink, that off-white lace detail with the crushed velvet up at the collar area, the high neck. So all I did was put on a pair of suede knee-high boots. I loved the drop waist and the pleating and this gorgeous Victorian collar. I sort of felt like I was an outlander wearing this dress. It was really amazing. And this came from a vintage boutique in Manhattan. Put a little uh, barrette there that had some pearl in it to tie in with the white lace. And I just loved how I felt in this dress. I think this was probably my most expensive item. It was $199. But to me, it's just, it's a showpiece. It's a talker. You go out in something like that and people will say, where did you find that? <laughs> Thrilling vintage is where I found it. Okay, moving on to the next dress and, and the schoolgirl look is so in right now. So, so in. So I found a dress that sort of threw me back into that motif. Now, granted, it's a little shorter than I normally would purchase. So I'm just going to throw that out there. If it were a few inches longer, I'd probably feel better about it. But I saw a lot of dresses and skirts like this that were longer. So you can find if this is a look that you really like. This one is a puff sleeve fitted bodice, 19 60s or 70s black multicolor plaid print A-line dress. Look at the detail. It's got that gold button detail down the front, this really flattering attached tie. It's like a belt tie in the front. It's got a comfortable stretch. It has the puff sleeves with the collar. Again, huge right now. This is 100% pure polyester. It does have a little bit of that scratchy feel to it, so I had to get used to that because today's poly is not like yesterday's poly whatsoever. Rule of thumb, if the skirt's on the shorter side, wear a flat shoe. So of course I had to pair the lug sole loafer with this. And then I, tiger eye was really big back then, so I took in the tiger eye earring that played off of the gold and the black in the dress and this came from a vintage boutique in Los Angeles. And I just, you know, you, you put the glasses on and you carry your book and off you go to class. So cute, so sweet, so in style. Again, if it were a few inches longer, there may actually be a little bit in the hem that I can let out. So I've gotta, I've gotta look into that. But that dress was 50 bucks from the 60s slash 70s. Okay, number five, this dress absolutely blew my mind. I kept thinking of Jackie Kennedy when I saw it, and you'll see why. The level of class, sophistication, and elegance in this dress is just unparalleled. 
It is a dress from the 1970s. It's a long sleeve maxi. It's by Vera Maxwell. It's a nylon and poly blend. It has this amazing sort of contemporary style. You almost wouldn't think that it's from the 1970s, but the dead giveaway, look at those amazing French cuffs. I am a French cuff fanatic. So when I saw those, I said, that dress is so mine. And then you've got these fabulous pockets to be able to put your hands into. It's a great stretch jersey top. I decided to make the earrings the focal point. I love this flowy dress. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It was $158 and it totally blew my mind. It's from a vintage boutique in Palm Springs, California. And I loved, I loved the elegance of this. You know how much I love that sort of old classic Hollywood look. And to me, this was a total throwback to that. I mean, you could see yourself going to the opera or the ballet and something like that. So. That was so neat and just the level of elegance and sophistication that it brought to this fashion show here, I thought you would really and truly appreciate. Where am I? I'm moving on. I'm moving on to number seven. Okay, number seven spoke to me because I'm in Texas. I love fringe. I love Western. And so this was the perfect pairing. And literally, this whole outfit was based around the jacket. That's it. It's a 1970s chocolate brown suede fringe vest. It's, it's a shrug. It's like a shoulder shrug. And I saw that on this website and I said I had to have it and I knew that I had stuff to pair with it. I took an old skirt by Ralph Lauren. Talk about a classic piece. I will never ever get rid of this skirt and clearly it goes perfect with this vest. I wore um, some cowboy boots by VC Collection, an old kind of brown tank top that has the peace sign on it. This outfit needed a hat, so Bailey's of Hollywood. It's an old felt hat that I had. And the boutique where this little shrug came from was Detroit, Michigan. So I thought it would be a neat ensemble to be able to show you as well. You know, there are so many different looks and trends and things that you can carry off. Speaking of varied, I could not let this video go by without a throwback to the 1980s. And you know the 80s, over the top, glittery. We're gonna channel Michael Jackson, Prince, and Madonna in this look. This really was centered around this amazing bomber jacket that I found. Would you get a load of the sequins in this thing? It's a 1980s black and gold sun sequin bomber jacket. It's 100% silk on the inside, has this cool mandarin collar, totally fitted in the bodice and the waist, the gold studs across the chest and the collar, but what makes this is that incredible sun design on the back. So I'm like, okay, we are so 80s, what would I wear this with? Well, of course, I'm gonna find some parachute pants. I had an old vintage kind of sequin top, which you see me wearing here in this video. A pair of gold and black strappy heels, cause you gotta have gold and black everywhere. Some uh, gold hoops. And then my Madonna, I had to throw in the black captain's hat. So I figure I got all the icons of the 80s thrown into one look. Uh, the jacket came from a seller in Brooklyn, New York. I love this. I think this is beyond. Frankly, I think all of these are beyond. I, I am over the moon happy with everything that I found. I'll provide links to that. Again, you won't be able to find these exact pieces, but if you're looking for some old school stuff, I encourage you to peruse through the sections and see what's out there because it's really, really neat to take some of the old and put it with some of the new and make it your own thing. And that's what we get to do on this platform. We get to be uniquely us. And so what you saw today was uniquely me. And it was very, it was as varied as I am and as my personality is and my style there. I, you can't pigeonhole me. You just can't. Don't try it. Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this. It's been so much fun putting this together for you in the comment section. Let me know if I can be a guide in any way. Uh, if you have any questions about anything or you're looking for something, this community is perfection. I, I, I just can't say enough great stuff about you all. You are amazing and a blessing to me. If you're not with me on social media, all you got to do is head on over to Instagram and Facebook. You'll find me there throughout the week in between when I publish every Thursday at one o'clock. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. 
And I think that's about it. So with your awesome style being uniquely you, go out, be bold and be blessed, and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.